My dad is having an affair with a co-worker half his age. I found out and told my mom, but my mom seemed to know. Now, they are asking. I apologize and stay out of their business. Some backstory. Almost a year ago my family experienced the loss of my grandpa, my dad's father. It was sudden and it struck my father really hard. He started having more emotional outbursts, being more reclusive, etc. And we tried our best to be understanding and help him in any way he needed. He found himself a therapist and seemed to be working through a lot of his feelings and thoughts. He still wasn't acting entirely like the him we once knew but losing someone affects everyone differently and this made his behavior easy to excuse. My dad and I don't live in the same city and so we often meet up at halfway points for lunch. We have always been close so it's commonplace for us to talk about our feelings, emotions and recent life events with each other. Now the story. During our first lunch since my grandpa's passing I noticed my dad talking a lot about this new girl at his work. We will call her Stacy. He said that Stacy was helping him a lot of his trauma and being there for him. Stacy's husband had been through some similar traumas that my dad had experienced and that was being brought up in therapy so he said she offered him support. He really felt he could be himself around her. He made it abundantly clear that he did not feel he could be himself around his wife of 20 years, my mom but that he could with Stacy. I thought this was an odd comment to make, and I think this is where my suspicions of their real intentions began, but I knew he was struggling. It made me feel relieved that he had someone he trusted. It struck me a little weird that she was 29 but again, sometimes workplaces can create weird and unexpected friendships and with me being 26 I wondered if maybe he saw her as another daughter since I wasn't able to be around much due to distance. He assured me that Stacy was married to a man named Andrew. They were strictly friends, but in his own words, people from his work had started to think something was going on between them so they had stopped talking at work and had moved to texting. He even went so far as to later in the conversation say that he thinks a strong marriage should be able to survive someone cheating. I assured him that that wasn't healthy, and that I'm not sure what kind of relationship he wants with his wife but I do not want a relationship founded on infidelity. Obviously my alarm bells were going off. With what little information I had on Stacy, I went and found her online. I stalked her and just like my dad said, she was seemingly in a young happy marriage with Andrew. She kept her social media pretty private but from what I could see she looked like your average 29 year old woman. I couldn't possibly imagine what she would want with my dad and if anything I thought maybe my dad had a work crush that he was reading too much into. No one wants to think that their dad could be capable of a full-blown affair. Over the next few visits with my dad I would hear him continually talk about Stacy when telling stories about work or talking about his friends. She always seemed to come up. I couldn't help but notice that he would avoid calling her by name. She would just be she or her or girl from work. It's as if he completely forgot the things he had told me about her. Or as if he was afraid to say her name around me. Infidelity is never mentioned again but he is always talking about how he's fighting with my mom, Lily. How as he goes through therapy, she might not like the man he's becoming. He tells me how he's standing his ground and getting into verbal arguments with her. I imagine this is self-sabotage due to his guilt because of the cheating. Fast forward to today, about a year since I first heard about Stacy. I went on my laptop which I do not use often. I opened Instagram and I realized I still had my dad's login credentials saved on my computer from a one-off back in 2016. My dad is and always has been sketchy with his passwords so I assumed that likely it wouldn't work but I tried the login anyways. To my surprise, I was in. I won't even pretend like I didn't know exactly what I was looking for or like I'm above looking through his DMs. This is also where I messed around and found out. I opened their DMs which were pretty bleak at first. I thought that I could rest my suspicions more like hoped until I couldn't. It started out with sending corny photos to each other. Things about, you can kiss me whenever you want. I'm yours and your arms feel like home and I'm homesick. Really juvenile weird she. Things I wouldn't send to a co-worker if you paid me. Still in denial. I kept scrolling and that's when I saw it. Nudes from her only. Thank God. Full-blown sexting conversations. Conversations about their existing partners and the potential of leaving them for each other. I love yous conversations with their plans to sleep together for the first time, etc, etc, etc. You get the picture. All of my suspicions laid out in front of me. He was willing to risk it all for a married woman three years older than his daughter. He was willing to hurt the woman he had supposedly loved for 20 years, destroy his family, destroy Stacy's family for what? 
absolute selfishness. The worst part for me was that they actively talk about their existing partners in this chat. Stacy is always making fun of my mom. Does Lily wear lacy brass for you? Does Lily let you go down on her with her bush? Lol. As if Stacy couldn't become more a disgusting human. As if she's not already sleeping with a married 53-year-old father of two. She has to degrade his wife. An innocent victim in this situation. They assure each other that they love their current partners so much that it hurts. And they don't understand how they can have the capacity to love to people at the same time. Is disgusting and childish. I don't know how this ends. They still work together and closely together. I cannot bring myself to tell my mom. I don't want my dad to know I know. I don't want him to feel backed into a corner like he has to tell my mom. I want him to tell my mom because he knows it's the right thing to do. I have looked up to my dad my whole life and I feel like the whole view I have had of him as this selfless, loving, caring family man has been shattered. I'm so disappointed in his actions, and I don't know what to do. It's eating away at me. Edit. I was told it would be beneficial to add that my parents do have a kid who is a minor who lives with them. I have not known about this affair the entire time. I found out about it on Thursday so please stop saying that I'm intentionally holding this secret for my father. My parents share an email account and I will not see my mom in person until probably Christmas. Relevant comments. Armed with this info, I would set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with mom and tell her, and bring the evidence. In volatile situations like this, it is best to be proactive versus reactive. Advise her to go into stealth mode and to act like nothing is going on. Next steps. 1. Help mom find two to three divorce attorneys and schedule the consult. The consult is usually free. Have her present the circumstances and find out their approach. She can then decide whose style she likes most and retain them. 2. Have her gather the following documents. A. Last three years tax returns. B. 12 months bank statements, retirement account statements, investment statements. C. Copies of mortgage and title to the home. D. If they own a vacation or rental real estate make copies of the documents. E. 12 months worth of credit card statements and cell phone bills. Have your mom try to see if she can get access to his wallet while he is sleeping. And if so, check it for any new credit cards. If she finds any, have her screenshot them. What state are you in? Depending on the answer, infidelity may qualify her for a fault for the divorce filing. Helping her prepare for this will give her a leg up for a softer landing. If you can find the info for his affair partner's spouse, she can and should make contact the day your dad is served. By the way, he can be served at work. Play stupid games. Win stupid prizes. Reply. I have decided to take your advice. I'm going to tell my mom as she deserves to have the upper hand in decision making since my father has been the holder of all decisions for months and be known to her. I'm currently just waiting for a time when she is not around my dad so I can call her and drop the bomb. They're currently driving up to their cottage together so it doesn't feel fair for me to not let her have room to grieve or figure out her next move. I will post an official update when I have one, most likely Monday when she goes to work. Update. My dad is having an affair with a 29-year-old woman, so I finally called my mom. Her and my dad had spent the day together at their cottage, so I waited until they were home and then asked if she could go somewhere alone so we could talk on the phone. Her reaction was nothing like I imagined. She sounded like she already knew. Her reaction also made me feel like this wasn't the first time this has happened. She laughed and asked me what I thought I saw. She blamed herself and said that she doesn't meet my dad's needs. I explained to her that that's not fair and that she doesn't deserve to be lied to and cheated on and put at risk for STDs. I said the way they spoke about my mom in the chat was disgusting and that this was wrong. She asked to see the screenshots so I sent them to her. She kept reassuring me that her and my dad were in it for the long haul and wouldn't divorce. I told her I didn't care about that. I said no matter her decision I supported her either way. Even though it wasn't what I was anticipating I felt relieved. I felt like a weight had been lifted. She thanked me for telling her and said that I would always be her sweet girl. Everything seemed to be going well until she spoke to or confronted my dad and called me back. I don't know what happened with the conversation between her and my dad but it's clear that he is a master manipulator and not at all the person I thought he was prior to all this. My mom's tone had completely shifted on the phone. She was scolding me. He confirmed the affair. He confirmed everything I had said and brought forward to her. Somehow they're blaming me. They're telling me I'm wrong. My mom told me that she has read all the screenshots I sent but had nothing to say about them. 
they're staying together and in her words this is just a bump in the road. They've had highs and lows and they'll have lows again. I said I would support her either way so I can't be mad but I can't help but be sad at how low she thinks of herself to accept this behavior. I love your dad and he loves me. What a horrible message to send to your child. She told me that guilt does bad things to people and that she thinks I got myself worked up over nothing. She told me if was wrong of me to look at his Instagram messages and that it was a breach of trust. Ironic considering my dad committed the biggest breach of trust there is in a marriage. I also never would have looked at his messages had he not planted the seed of infidelity in my brain. She explained my dad is very angry with me and she doesn't know if our relationship is repairable. I assumed my dad would be mad at me of course but for my mom to seemingly side with him and turn her back on me too is almost too much to take. I know she's being manipulated but this is where it ends I guess. I can't stand to look at either of them. I feel like I was just orphaned. I can't fight a fight for someone who doesn't want me to on their behalf. Deep down I know I'm not to blame for this. Don't get me wrong. But it's really hard to not feel awful when your parents, whom you've trusted, turn their back on you. I do feel like I did right by myself in telling my mom the truth but I can't help but think that everything would have been easier if I never said anything. My dad still follows Stacy, he has blocked me and my fiancé on all social media platforms. He's quite literally showing that he chooses his affair partner over his daughter. I know he's reacting out of embarrassment and anger but I've blocked him in return. He doesn't get to choose when he comes back into my life. All of this hurts a lot. A little rundown. I told my mom. She sounded like she expected this. She confronted my dad. My dad confirmed the affairs. They're staying together and blaming me somehow. Relevant comments. Like you said, this wasn't the first time and it may well be that they already have an understanding about extramarital affairs and that may run both ways. So you notifying her didn't tell her much she didn't already know. Instead it just made it awkward for her to discuss it with you. Ultimately, People are complicated and you don't know their sexually history, which predates your existence. It is, and will remain fundamentally unknowable to you. Your dad is a piece of she, for how he is reacting to you. Reply, in Stacy and my dad's DMs they both outlined the fallout they believe would occur if their respective partners found out about their affair. I don't believe, even if my mom and dad have a don't ask, don't tell policy like another redditor suggested that it is a two-way street. But you're absolutely correct. I don't know their agreements within their marriage nor do I want to, lol. Seeing the things that my dad said in his DMs was way more than I ever needed to know. I do find my dad's reaction of anger very telling though. Honestly, with the relationship I have with my dad, he probably would have just told me of their agreement had there been one. Commenter, have you asked your mother if she'd expect you to stay in that situation if it were you in her shoes? If she says no. I'd ask her what example she thinks she's setting by doing so herself. You can support her and distance yourself from the situation. And from them. Them blaming you for telling the truth is wrong and separate of the support for what she chooses. And you can also support her and choose to limit or forgo the relationship you have with your father entirely. I have a feeling when your wedding approaches your father is going to want to play perfect dad in all the events and pictures. Will you allow him to? Reply. When it comes to my mom, I told her I would support her either way. As much as I don't agree with her choice I'm not in her position and I don't know what kind of factors are coming into play for her to stay. Who knows, they could be waiting for my younger brother to move out before they call it quits. For now, I am no contact with my father and I am willing to be low contact with my mom. But no one has spoken to me since. So I think it might be no contact with all. As it stands currently, I don't anticipate inviting my father to my wedding which is really hard to stomach. We never planned for a big wedding so his presence was definitely going to be a big one on our day. Unless something is massively repaired during that time, I don't need the added stress. Update. Hey, I actually do have a small update if anyone is interested. Sorry. I don't check this Reddit account often. My fiancé and I are still engaged and don't have a set wedding date. When we do get married. It'll be either a small courthouse or an elopement with my family not involved at all. In regard to my dad, short answer? Nope. Still an absolute idiot. Long version goes as such, I've been working with a therapist to figure out what I really want to come of all this and how I can proceed with or without my family. 
I initially settled on NC with my dad and LC with my mom. After some thinking I decided that I wanted to have my dad in my life and rebuild at least an amicable relationship with him. I understand that that may not be what everyone would choose but I really couldn't imagine my big life events and my future without my dad. I reached out to my mom via text and asked her if she believed my dad was still too angry with me to talk. She urged me to not reach out and asked me to continue leaving the door open and told me that she was encouraging my dad to do the same for me. At that point I decided that if he had to be encouraged to leave the door open for his only daughter then maybe it actually wasn't worth reaching out to him. He ended up texting me the next day that he unblocked my number but he wasn't ready to talk. I waited three weeks for him to text me but received nothing more. I reached out just asking for a timeline on when I can expect that he will be ready to talk and he replied saying he has been waiting for me to contact him. The conversation started fine. He said he loved me and he missed me. He said that we were just going to have to agree to disagree on the whole situation. I explained that wouldn't be happening and that I didn't care about the cheating. That's not my problem. My problem is how he has hurt me and how his silent treatment affected me. This is obviously not what he wanted to hear. I'll save y'all the nitty gritty. The conversation ended with him saying he was mad at me because I didn't come to him first and give him a chance to come clean. But in the same message, he said that if I had kept my nose out of his business he would have taken the secret to the grave and that it was me who hurt my mom because I told her. He repeatedly demanded that I apologize to my mom for hurting her and apologize to him for betraying his trust. There was a lot more to the conversation of course but to wrap this all up I double down that I did nothing wrong. He is the one who betrayed his wife. And if my mom would like an apology she is more than welcome to reach out to me directly. Other than that, we're done here. His number is blocked. I don't plan on unblocking him. I feel confident in my decision this time. I don't feel like him and I are existing in the same reality. I don't feel like he's the dad I once knew. Sorry this is so long. And not a happy ending at all but it does feel nice to get this all out here. Thanks for following along with my story and I'll do my best to share here if there's any more major updates but I truthfully feel like this might be the end of it all. God please let it be the end.